welcome to this family video production of Comb Honey in the Half Comb Cassette. A radically new modular Comb Honey section which was designed and developed here in our apiary on Juniper Hill. The modular concept makes possible the least labor intensive comb honey system and by a big margin. The following short summary shows the overall system in preview. The cassettes are prefabricated in clear plastic with beeswax coated foundation embossed on the bottom. Forty of these interlocking cassettes are preassembled in super packs. The super pack is simply inserted into a standard four and three quarter comb honey super modified by an inexpensive conversion kit. Five springs are used to secure the super pack and removed to unload the super. The bees build comb honey directly into the box-like cassettes uh, from the bottom up. A cover is installed on each bee-prepared cassette which displays natural honeycomb as never before. The modular design of the half comb cassette is the foundation of the half comb system. The labor of assembling comb honey sections has been completely eliminated. This is the first of several labor sparing advantages. The cassettes are molded in one piece clear plastic with beeswax coated foundation on the bottom. There's no need to buy or install comb honey foundation. The bees build one-sided comb with deep cells from the bottom outward, hence the name half comb. The cassettes without covers interlock piggyback. The bottom of each cassette serves as a separator to regulate comb honey depth in the next cassette. Stacks of 10 cassettes each are pre-assembled piggyback. Even the intact cassettes do not need to be handled individually. Slots are provided for the bees to enter. The stacks are further assembled in super packs of four stacks each, which is a single block of 40 cassettes. This fills one super. The covers are included to be put aside until needed. The need for separators and support frames in the super is eliminated because the modular cassettes also assume these functions. This makes the half comb super the least complex comb honey super. The half comb super has two distinct components. First a standard four and three quarter inch comb honey super and a conversion kit. The conversion kit contains all of the parts needed to position and support the cassettes and to provide peripheral space for ventilation and bee travel. It also contributes to the speed and ease of loading super. Two of the followers and the metal supports are permanently installed. 
This sturdy metal support is a sheet metal square nailed in place and then folded under. The other two followers are freestanding to be secured with springs as an aid in loading cassettes and removed to unload cassettes. The Halfcomb Super has far fewer parts to buy, handle, or clean than any Comb Honey Supers. The hallmark of the Halfcomb system is the speed and ease of loading and unloading supers. The assembly of supers can be deferred until needed in a honey flow. After obtaining the desired number of modified supers, the labor in the half comb system is reduced to the task of combining them in ready to go supers. The super pack is set onto the fixed follower against the metal support ledge. One end follower and the long follower with rabbits down are inserted. Five springs are inserted to secure the movable followers. By feel and by sight, make sure that the rabbits engage the cassette tops. Then turn the super flat on the table and press the cassettes down onto the metal supports. Top B space can be measured if desired. It is because the cassettes self-support in the super that no extra parts are needed in the super. Working with the half comb super is a new and exciting experience because of the unique properties on the hive. To produce quality comb honey in quantity, it is necessary to use strong, healthy hives not preparing to swarm, like this one. Especially unique is the clear view of the bees and their work inside the super. Within two hours, the bees had occupied the super and sometimes start work within two hours. The next day, the bees had started to work in the super. Given a honey flow, a uniform start is a sign that the colony is strong enough and ready to produce comb honey. When the super is at least 60% filled and before capping begins, it is time to add another super. The super will be better finished if there is another place on the hive to store honey. If the honey flow is cut off or becomes marginal at this point, 
the bees may seal the unfinished cells prematurely. When filled, examine both sides for readiness to harvest, especially the bottom of the super, by turning the super on edge right on the hive. Do the same on the other side. Break open any honey containing burr inside the corners of the entry slots. And then install the bee escape. The bees will dry up any exposed honey before leaving the super. The bees should be out of the super in a day or two. While harvesting the super, <clears throat> it is desirable to protect the honey in the supers with a screen to avoid robbing by other bees or yellow jackets which damage the comb. As an option, there is an educational application which makes the half comb super the first observation hive ever for watching bees process nectar and build comb. This clear plastic inner cover allows one to watch the bees close up without disturbing them. Unloading the cassettes from the super is just the reverse of loading them into the super.
Now is the time to fine clean the exposed cassette surfaces collectively while they still present a single flat surface. This avoids handling of each cassette individually later for cleaning. The cassettes are removed in stacks of 10. These are the stacks of cassettes from a single hive, full season, using a two queen system. The covers are added to each cassette while still on the stack. First, strip down the tapes and install a cover by engaging one corner first and then pivoting into place. This diagonal ribbon label was designed for the half comb cassette. Finally, pry the covered cassette off and clean the bottom as needed while transferring to a new stack of interlocking covered cassettes. Note that this is the first time each cassette is handled individually. The hallmark of honey in the half comb, exclusive to the half comb, is the clear view into the miracle of natural honeycomb. The uncommon marketing appeal is due to this clear view, which shows natural honeycomb just as stored here by the bees. A display like this is unrivaled. When those with no knowledge of comb honey see this natural honeycomb and realize that it is untouched by human hands, they are immediately enlightened and fascinated. The upward sloping cells as they are on the hive, are less likely to leak honey from unsealed cells on the shelf. The cassette is its own server. Honey is taken from the cassette directly. There is no need to transfer honey to another dish. A strip of clear tape on one edge of the cover serves as a cover hinge to protect honey between servings. In stacks, with background lighting, the display of honeycomb is especially conspicuous. The producer's label or flyer 
can be placed on the bottom and the covers sealed with a short piece of tape. They cannot leak. The same can be arranged in groups on edge with cells sloping up. The one-sided comb with deep cells have no midrib of comb foundation. The wax content in the half comb is less than in conventional honeycomb. The diagonal ribbon label makes the display of cassettes even more eye-catching. Producing comb honey like this is an art, an art well worth mastering. The unique properties of honey in the half comb support pricing at a premium in general, but especially in the lucrative natural food and gift markets. This, combined with the major labor savings built into the cost of the cassettes, as value received and where time is money dwarfs any modest extra cost of cassettes. Overall, the half comb system is the most cost effective. This new form of comb honey could also be the foundation for a new visual strategy to restore the lost awareness of comb honey. Now this is the, I'm looking at the bottom hive now. Like you say, it's about ready to come off, but I'm going to raise it up and put the new ones under it and let them finish. I think there's some real top honey in that super there. <laughs>